One example of turning data complexity into effectiveness and delivering first-class operations and service can be seen in how Splunk helped Singapore Airlines. They have put in all the data that they collect, whether is it across the self-service kiosks that you see, you know, the tracking counters at the airport, or their websites or the mobile apps, and that helps them to um, respond to issues 75% faster and have 90% uh, less backend issues. You cannot run away from AI because it will be there and it will continue to be used by companies to improve their efficiency and improve their competitive edge. In Singapore, BDX is creating an AI test bed within its data centre building, providing valuable resources for startups in the local AI ecosystem to experiment and innovate. Data centre, sustainability, network connectivity, and supporting the local ecosystem with our AI test bed. Working with NVIDIA, UbiLink and TWSC, ASUS has engaged in collaborative efforts. And it's these collaborations that have pushed innovations further than ever before. When we first started, we wanted to build, you know, the number one supercomputers in Taiwan. We wanted to showcase what the possibility of a renewable energy supercomputer data center what should look like. The key is developing user-friendly interfaces that empower SMEs to train and deploy their own models. So it's not just about the tech people, but it's also about how we help the SMEs or research institutes and like normal people like me as a marketer, right? Um, I don't know how to do the coding, but our platform can help them to transform their idea into a real uh, product or service. That's really exciting for us, yeah. Singapore's first smart and sustainable business park, Pongal Digital District, is set to become a model for energy efficiency. We call it the Open Digital Platform, which will work hand in hand with Universe Smart Grid Controller. And with the use of uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, a lot of things can actually be optimised and automated. We're increasing our energy efficiencies and reducing our cooling needs. As well as staying water-wise, a first for the data centre industry in Singapore, Digital Realty introduced an innovative cooling tower. The system, known as DCI Electrolysis, eliminates the use of chemicals to treat blow-down water discharge, resulting in 1.24 million litres of water saved monthly. Now that's important for us to continue uh, to, to basically develop the kind of workforce that we need. Uh, to innovate as well as to thrive. Government data shows more than four in five companies in Singapore struggle to hire skilled tech professionals, particularly in areas like cybersecurity, cloud computing, AI, and data analytics. Higher education institutions like Kaplan are actively aiming to bridge these gaps. It's not just a technology industry, but across the board in every other industry and sectors. We should think and train our people to be able to design AI-first processes and specifically in the domain of HR. And I think that's going to be the differentiator. As a consulting firm in the HR tech space, we are more than a typical system integrator. But we say that we are an HR system integrator where we will align your processes, then we will implement them. General Assembly works to reskill and upskill learners from diverse backgrounds, empowering them to chart their own path, while also helping businesses take a fresh approach to discover untapped talent. Our instructors, I think what makes them unique is really um, they are industry experts. So they are people that have worked in the field. A 2024 study showed only 3% of global businesses qualify as mature in their readiness for the ever-growing risk of cyber threats. Our mission is to accelerate digital trust for the organizations. Victor Lim is the Regional Director of SoftCheck APAC, a company that specializes in cyber resilience, security assurances and advanced threat defense. ECQ has a simulated model of a critical infrastructure facility designed for industries such as oil and gas as well as utilities. We believe only through this actual replication of the plant or the critical infrastructure, they would be able to have a full access to the uh, uh, environment to practice their skills. As cloud services become more prominent across more platforms, one incorrect click of a button could spell disaster. The Zscaler platform can support users and entities across a multitude of platforms, whether those are fixed offices, mobile devices, laptops, IoT devices, or even application-to-application -application communication between cloud and SaaS platforms. The recent crypto hack is possibly the most costly single theft in human history. 
the hacker compromising third-party software used for co-signing transactions, highlighting the sophistication of state-backed threat actors in executing complex supply chain attacks. So on the next days, I just fly to Bybit headquarter in Dubai. Next day, we are able to find out that the actual problem will come from the third-party wallet provider. Understanding the threat landscape has led Verichains to develop some world-class security solutions and products, including TS Shock, designed to protect multi-party computation, or MPC, wallets. Trust has introduced Singapore's first numberless bank card, designed with users in mind. This market-first innovation combines credit and debit functionality in a single card. Banking doesn't need to be boring. Banking can be fun. And what we try to do is the banking experience in your app should be delightful.